Hi everyone, Lindsay Lachelle from Open Lines Marketing. So today's rant is not so much about social media. It does cover what I call nonprofit marketing myths, but genuinely this is a myth that affects almost everybody um, who does any kind of content marketing at all. Ready? I'm, I'm gonna drop it on you. Every word that you write is precious. Everything that you post has to be perfect. Guess what? Totally not true. Totally not true. In fact, there are some things that are very important, but almost none of it is. And let me tell you why. People don't read. They don't read. They don't remember what they read. If you just take a second right now, you are, you're on LinkedIn, you're watching this video, right? What was the post immediately before this one? What was it? Can you recall it right away? Who's it from? What was the content? What was the call to action? What about the one before that? We don't know, because we're just scrolling. We're just on autopilot. It takes so much for something to stay with us longer than the moment that we are looking at it. And that's not just everybody else's marketing, that's true for ours too. That's why consistency, showing up on the regular, being consistent with your messages is so much more important than fighting over the details and the bits. This is, to me, is really important for nonprofits to hear because I see my clients and, and beyond. I see my, my um, nonprofit marketers are wasting time working with their ED, working with the development people, working with the programs people. We got to go back and forth and back and forth and drafts and edits and changes and revisions. And it is a huge waste of time. I am so sorry to tell you this, but your content does not get more effective by when you are writing copywriting by committee. It does not resonate more, more with your audiences it does not get, it does not help your organization. I understand. I want to be clear. I understand why everybody has opinions about this stuff. I understand why it's important to make sure that everybody feels like they have weighed in. But when it comes right down to it, I got to tell you, man, nobody remembers that stuff. Nobody reads it. They skim it at best. So what that means is you can, number one, just spend less time. You really don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time. Build consensus across the organization on the word choice of the, no, marketers are here to do the writing. Let them do the writing. Also, wow, I have so much to say about this. Here's, here's the crux of it. Nobody remembers the details. Nobody remembers the details. You can tell the same beneficiary story. You can tell the same donor story over and over and over again because nobody commits those memories to those uh, details to memory. What they do remember is how it felt. They do remember what impressions they got from your organization. The thing that you risk when you use the same content the same message, the same case studies over and over and over again. You know what's at stake? You're going to start to leave a strong impression. People are going to start to understand what is important to you. Wow. Shock. What a nightmare, right? Thanks, everyone. Have a good one. Till next time.